Ladies and gentlemen, Happy New Year, guys. It is now officially 2020. The ball just dropped. Hold on, quick time check. Yeah, so the ball just dropped about 20 minutes ago. It is 1220. So, I am super excited for 2020. 2019 was an amazing year. But that only means that 2020, we could try to step it up. So, I'm super excited to grow this YouTube channel and to have some fun with this. And I'm also excited to see what this fresh start has to come for us. Also, I got some surprises coming in the future and we're gonna be fishing very soon. So super duper excited. First time out in the ice of the year. Coming soon. All right guys, I just wanted to say Happy New Year. Today will be a very interesting video. I'm doing something kind of special. Before I explain, let's head to the intro. Alright guys, good afternoon. We got a little bit of a late start to today, but that's alright. Today's going to be an awesome day. I never did tell you what we're doing, did I? No, you'll see in a sec. Alrighty, so we have officially made it to the first stop. We're at Michael's right now. We're heading in. We're gonna pick up some stuff. Catch you in there. Okay, so we just got out of Michael's. We just picked up some basswood because today we are going to be making some fishing lures. Um, we're probably gonna make a crankbait, so stay tuned, it's gonna be fun. All right, stop number two. We're at Home Depot, let's go. So, as you guys can probably see, uh, we just stopped at the car wash. We took a little uh, detour. But now we're going to Dick's Sporting Goods and we gotta pick up one more thing and then we're gonna go home and build the lure. So, stay tuned, this is gonna be great. Alright, guys, we made it to the final stop. We are at Dick's Sporting Goods and Field and Stream right now. We're about to head in there and we gotta pick up one more thing. We're looking for some smaller treble hooks that we can add onto the baits. All right, let's get them. Artie, I just found the final item on our list for today. It's these, we're going size 12. Go a little bit smaller, but these should work. All right, now let's go home. Let's make this thing. We actually need to grab one more thing. These split rings, never done. Alrighty, so all you guys know the ginormous struggle of going to Dick's without coming out with something amazing. So, we, yes, we fell into that trap. <laughs> so, we're actually getting the pistol bit today. Um, it's about $220. I'm just grabbing something from my dad's truck right now. This way we can return that to get some money towards it. It'll be confusing, but yes, we're getting something else. All right, I'll see you probably, I don't know. All right, bye. Hi, I'm back. Hey, how you doing? I'm bringing this in for return. Here, yeah. Can you register? Awesome, thank you. Yeah. All right, success. We're now back in the truck. Next step, go home, 
and build this thing. Alrighty guys, yes, it has been a minute since I just filmed. It's actually dark outside now. I had to do some homework, uh, cause I actually go back to school tomorrow, which is really, really unfortunate. But, I'm ready to film the rest of this video now. I'm just gonna go over what we got first. Alright, let's do that. Alright, so first, we got some basswood. This is what we're gonna be using for the body of the bait. And, we also got some screw eyes. The rest of the items are inside right now, but we also got split rings and some smaller treble hooks. We're not going to need those right now, though. Alright, let's get on with the video, yeah? Let's go! Also, uh, just one more thing before we start. I got inspired to do this by Marlon Bates. He has a YouTube channel. Go check it out. I'll link it in the description below. But that dude's awesome. He makes some really crazy stuff. My expectations aren't that high, but I'm really going to try my best. All right, so I'm gonna first start out by sketching what I want the bait to look like. All righty, I think that that looks pretty good. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it over to the bandsaw and we're gonna cut this shape out. Let's go. All right, now we're over at the bandsaw, and now we're gonna take our shape and we're gonna cut out a rough outline of it. So let's get that done. Okay, now that we have that rough shape cut out, we're gonna head over to the sander. But first, I'm just gonna take one cut down the middle to give us a little bit more of a slimmer profile because we're not gonna want our bait to be this wide. Now, we have two rough lure shapes here. I'm gonna pick which one looks best. And I think, I think for this video, we're going to use this one, but I can definitely save this for later. Let's head over to the sander. Grinder time! Okay, so I spent a lot of time on the belt grinder over there, but, and basically I turned this into this, which is nice and a little bit more smooth. Now, I'm just gonna continue with a bunch more hand sanding. Alrighty, so as you can see, it is very smooth now, all around. Now, I'm gonna draw a line for where I'm gonna put the bill in the nose here. And I'm gonna try to cut that out with the Dremel. Alrighty, so I got the Dremel all plugged in. Now I'm just gonna Dremel out that little line right there. Please be very careful because Dremels can get pretty dangerous. <laughs> Ta-da, just like that. And if you can actually see, it almost looks like my bait is now smiling. Alrighty, now that we got that part done, we're gonna head over to the drill press and we're gonna use a fastener bit to drill out an eye shape. So let's go do that. Alrighty, perfect. So as you can probably see on this bait, I drew little eye dots where I'm gonna put the center point of this Fossner bit. Here we go. Awesome, now as you can see, I have two eyes drilled into the bait. Now, let's move on to the bill. 
Alrighty, so I just realized I forgot something. I forgot the bill, so let's go get that right now. Alrighty, now as you can see, we got what we're gonna use for the build. We're gonna use a wooden popsicle stick. All right, we don't need the rest of these. Awesome, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut out, cut off the round end, and then I'm gonna draw another line, depending on how deep I want the bait to dive. The bigger your segment is, the deeper it should dive. The shorter, the shallower. So I want mine to be a very shallow diving crankbait. So my bill is going to be very small. All right, now as you can see, we have our bill made. Oh my. All right, now as you can see, here we have our bill made. But in my opinion, that doesn't look very clean and very nice. So I'm just gonna sand these edges. All right, awesome, so that's looking pretty good now. Now, we have to test and see if this fits in the crankbait. Okay, so I have my crankbait here and I have my bill. And I'm just gonna slip the bill right into the crankbait, just like so. Now I need to dremel this groove just a little bit more, just so that it could get deeper, because otherwise this bill is too long. Bang, there we go. So I just dremeled the slot out a little bit more, and I also just sanded and cut this piece a little bit more. Now it slides in nice and easy, but it will also stay in. Now, next up is to super glue this piece in. Alrighty guys, as you can see by the dramatic change of clothes, it is a few days later, which means I've taken a few days to just edit and taken a little break from the lure build. But as you can see right here, the bait is completely done. The body at least, the body in the bill is completely done. Now, here's the thing. So it is very cold here in New York right now, so I figured that the spray paint wouldn't stick very well. So here, how about this for an idea? This video is already quite long, so I think we're gonna make a part two more towards the spring. Make sure you like if you think that that's a good idea. Because we still have to spray paint it, put the eye hooks in, and put the treble hooks in. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below, let me know what you think. So. I'll see you in the next one. Adios!